Water treatment for offshore disposal designed and successfully implemented for Chevron by Constantine Consulting. Contaminated rainwater, rig cleaning and well displacements are all sources of slop as an everyday byproduct of the offshore drilling activity. On the market there are a couple of solutions, bar IH2O, from Halliburton. Enviro unit from MI Swaco, and of course others, but none of them fitted Chevron for this particular application. An interesting solution Chevron intended, was to pump the slop water from a drilling rig to a supply vessel. From a supply vessel to a production platform. And from offshore platform to the oil terminal. For this option to work, the solids in the slop needed to be eliminated. The device available to do that was the ATC unit working on an open loop. This interesting concept was challenging to implement across various departments, drilling, production, and marine. It was, indeed, easier said than done. Chevron needed obviously a better and simpler solution. The inspiration came from hydraulically well fracking. This concept demonstrated that the frac water can be transformed from this ugly slop. Or from this place even you don't want to see. Or imagine how much it cost to give it back responsibly to nature. Into this kind of crystal clear water. At his kind of high flow observed here through 4 inch hose. If this concept is working for flow back water treatment. Why it shouldn't work for Chevron for offshore slop disposal? The answer was just a water test away. This was the actual water sample taken from the drilling rig for initial testing. The initial chemical tests confirmed that the flow back water treatment concept can potentially be applied. The chemical Chevron's lab analysis confirmed the water samples meet offshore discharge requirements. With this confirmation Constantine Consulting presented Chevron's management the test's result in a plan for offshore water treatment. The plan agreed with Chevron was to set up a yard test to better understand how this innovative technology can be implemented offshore. The picture shows the actual equipment layout for the yard test. The water used for the test it was the wash water used at the tank cleaning operations. The test's results confirmed that using this method the slop water can be indeed treated for offshore disposal. The lab testing results confirmed as well that the oil content was as low as 3 ppm. 10 times better than required. The challenge now was to be able to downsize the footprint to fit this system offshore. The plan was to take advantage and maximize the rig's existing infrastructure. To use artificially induced solids principle. To operate the ATC unit on open loop. And to use filters not as filters. But as a semi-permeable membrane. Artificially induced solids. ATC on an open loop. Filters not used as filters. It sounds out of ordinary, but all are the parts of a fit-to-purpose solution to make the system work offshore. The most important of all was the implementation of slop segregation. Instead of ignorantly having dump and forget approach, and consider everything as slop. Each waste stream was approached individually making sure it got the optimal treatment at the correct cost and complied with the discharge regulations. All it was possible by introducing the concept of the water treatment engineer. With a clear plan in place, an offshore water treatment package, was installed offshore on sea drills west to cane a drilling rig. After fine tuning of the system. And proper understanding of the most economical solutions to minimize the solid waste volume. The system was able to function at its best economic efficiency. The filters designed to operate as semi-permeable membranes, worked very well indeed, validating the design concept. The ATC unit installed on a open loop proved a valid concept also. The results were as expected. Crystal clear water, by far exceeding the discharge regulation, was the final product of this concept. The water could be either reuse, or offshore disposed. The lab results confirmed 48 ppm of oil in water before the mechanical separation. And 2.4 ppm oil in water at the end of the treatment process as this water analysis report proves. We can process 40 barrels per hour. I am fairly confident it will work well. So much so that I can probably start to process slops while we are doing the completions. James Whitmore, DTL West Tucana. This statement of Chevron representative, concludes and confirms the success of the water treatment system implemented by Constantine Consulting. Thank you for your time watching this presentation.